Frank? My wife. The one you married? Can you ring her? Trolley is bird brain here. It was all ready to carry her on his back. What's your number? 999. I'm sorry, Euron. I would have taken it to maternity, but it's a suspected breach, 38 yeah. weeks, and she's in quite a bit of pain. Can you see that? Uh, she says that something feels funny, apart from the contractions. <laughs> they started 40 minutes ago. She thinks her waters have gone. Okay. Oh, there's a heroin overdose on the way. <laughs> it's in here. How's your head? Hi. Just got a headache, that's all. I was, right? I was fast asleep now. Don't worry, Tom. We're nearly there. Hey, I was. I told you once, but I didn't do nothing. You weren't my mate. I don't like that. Jockey. Write you out and in there. I feel sick now, don't I? You're ready. Well, will do. I tell you. for a couple of minutes can't remember a thing okay you'll be right don't worry love don't live here anymore why don't you cool up and die cool hmm? Clever. There's a charge in his back there, could advise you otherwise. All right? Your wife's on the phone. She says it's very important. No, I've got it. I'm not going to call and he don't know where. You haven't seen me, right? Now I'm pretty. I could have told you not to mess with him, you know. Who? Exactly. Ponting. Handy Andy, they call him. Shut up, will you? Okay, love. Hi, Dave. What have we got? All right, Bass. Not too clever. Heroin addict. 28. Pretty much out of it. Go. Found a bag in the flat. She's got a chemistry set in it. She's got a couple of friends outside. They found her about 40 minutes ago. They reckon she's been trying to come off it for the last four days. You gotta look in it. Oh, yeah, I know. It's disgusting. Timazepam. Yeah. Oi, if she ain't got hepatitis, you'll be bleeding lucky. Good point. Gloves and a cannula. Mm. Oh, it's 104. Pressure. 90 over. 60. Oh, she's not going to peg out on us straight away. Not a pretty sight, is it? Well, she's aspirated a bit. Yeah, getting her way down there. We tried raising a yeah. vein on the way in. I don't think she's got a good one left in her body. Yeah. Oh, well, I'd better be off. Her friends think oh, she yeah. may have taken whatever it was about 11 o'clock this morning. 
Well, if they're right, she's probably absorbed it by now. Darling. Hello. Yes, of course. Of course I can say it. All right, I'll say it. You are the only sugar sherbet lemon sorbet in my life. <laughs> yes, my candy poodle, too. <laughs> Satisfied? <laughs> Flopsy bunny, big brown bear. <laughs> yes, of course I mean it. Mute? Or oh, Sandra Mute? No, 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 you've met her. Yes, you have. No, she's uh, not on tonight. She's gone on holidays. Wales, I think. <laughs> Sandid now. Might be, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, why should I? Yes. What letter, love? Yes. Look, Beryl, but I'll wait until the end of the shift, love. Come on, please, eh? Listen, listen, it was a pra it was a practical joke, love. Come on, you know what the boys are like down here. Anything for a laugh, eh? <laughs> Is it? It's Pontine's wife. Yeah? She's found out about him and Mew. No, she's not. She's left him. <laughs> So's Mew. <laughs> she's gone on holiday with a jockey. Four foot, eleven eyes. <laughs> she's fine. <laughs> a jockey? What I can't understand is the severity of the punishment for the first moral lapse I've had in 17 years of married life. The one and only time I depart from the straight and narrow, I could club it like something out of the Old Testament. It can be hard. See, I really liked her. Sandra. Huh? I really liked her, Kimura. But I really love my wife as well. <sighs> I don't know. Andrew. You must look on life's bright side. My wife has left me. I've had possibly the briefest affair in history. And the woman responsible for that has run away with a horse-riding dwarf to the land of my fathers. What are you talking about? We live in country without poison insects and unaffected by natural disaster. My whole bloody life's a natural disaster, you... <laughs> it was a talk. <laughs> Are you trying to be funny? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. I am. <laughs> I won't even ask why. Duffy. I'm not a violent man, but do you think I'm attractive? You know what they used to call boxing? The science. Not an art, it's not a sport, it's a science. We go in a police car, do we, uh, me and the girl? Yes. <laughs> That's a bleeding laugh. First time I ever clapped eyes on him, he was in a police car. He'd nicked it. I love that boy. I saw the fight. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was him, Henry McCartney. I saw it earlier on on Cooper's telly. He was amazing. The other fellow never got anywhere near him. Yeah, well, that was about 40 minutes ago. You were that Bridgewater kid. He must have gone home. Susie, Susie, get onto ambulance control. Some bastards licked my bleeding van.
sounds right, Joe. Be a duchess. I mean, can't understand a word he says. Uh -huh. See what I mean? Come on. Uh -huh. right, you got a name? Nope. Not a clue? Nothing. No credit card? Nothing. The man with no name, eh? Well, there is a woman in the ambulance. Won't come in with him. Usual bloody story. Sorry? Infidelity. Oh. Pierre Cardin. Out of your class, my son. Speak for yourself, sir. Get it out with Muta with the jockey. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think you can face it. You speak English, mate? Yeah. yeah. How did this start, can you say? Came here for some days now, and then, like, weights in my chest. Uh huh. Do you feel anything else? A bad pain. Here, my leg. Bad. Now, look. <laughs> I'm thinking thrombosis. You're the boss. It's a little difficult, you see. I mean, I know his wife. It would break her heart. So... So? So let's just say you never saw me, for her sake. Oh, what's the matter? Have you never gone behind someone's back? Have you never thought it could break their heart? He's in good hands, no? Listen, it's going to be a bit of a weight left. Let's go and get you a cup of tea, yeah? She wants to go. Well, why? The, the bloke's pretty sick, love. What's going on here? I don't understand. She shouldn't be seeing him. If his wife finds out, it, it'll... Well, you should have thought about that before you went with him. Now, listen, uh, nobody needs to know. Right. Until tomorrow. Tonight, he might need you. Tomorrow, we'll forget we ever saw you. Now, come on, girl. Sometimes you've got to take the rough with the smooth, man. Now, come on. Come on. Five diamorphine, 12.5 stomatal. Five diamorphine, 12.5 stomatal. <laughs> Just sit down, somebody will come. Thank you. With the art attack, look. Lady in red, yeah? All right. Can we have a word? Sure. In private? I think I'm owed an explanation. Do you realize the hell I've been going through? Everyone knew about it around here except me. Since tell me. you finally decided to bring it up, I'll tell you. I went to visit an old college friend. Come I had on. to get away. What about the letter then my wife found? What letter? Your letter. Telling me it'll be finished. <gasps> do, you, do you seriously think I'd write you a note like that after all the time we spend with each other? Didn't know what to think, did I? Huh? Didn't say anything. And that's just it. Look, I don't know. It must have been a wind-up or something. Come on. If you weren't so pig-headed, you would stop to ask. <sighs> that's what gets me so angry. You always assume the worst. So what are you saying then? You didn't write it? Look, do you know how I've been feeling over the last week? I don't enjoy these rumours. Why do you leave so suddenly then? I felt... I felt guilty. What about us? Of course about us. Well, so how do you feel about it now then? Me? Look, uh, I'm, I'm confused. What does that mean? Oh, Andy, you're so... It means that I, I don't think I can stop seeing you. Oh. Hi, what have we got? Her husband found her trying to abort. Well, we can't see any blood. Apparently, her GP had been treating her for depression, but she came off the pills during pregnancy. She's been going on about the news. It was crazy to bring a child into the world, and um, he found her collapsed in the bathroom. That's all we know. Can you get me a nurse? Yeah, sure. 
Hello, I'm Dr. Samuels. Megan, what the hell are you... I am loving my neighbour as myself. I'm not coming here voluntarily in my pyjamas to see you, love, do you? <laughs> so what's the catch? This here is Mr. Collie, right? Hey, Mr. Collie, at the hospital now. Now, Mr. Collie, this is Clive King. He's Hello, a good Mr. friend Collie. of mine. Mr. Collie lives near me. I see. And this is Constable Grant. Constable? We had a little shootout together. You go in, are you? you okay now? Shoot it up. Hey, she joking. No, he had half my shop round his back garden. Megan? She will go on. Okay. Megan. Yeah. You shouldn't be doing this. Look, I know that, Clive, but he hasn't got anybody else. His wife left him years ago. Uh, Megan, what are you doing here? You're fast losing sympathy votes. Just an overdeveloped sense of responsibility, right? Look, where's Baz? That's Mr. Collie. He's a neighbour of mine and he's going to need a bed upstairs. Guess what? They're full. Am I smiling about that? What do you expect? Tears I'd run out of hankies. God, if I change it, get bars, will you? And tell Sheila to look up his file. John Collie. It'll be as thick as a book. Right. Oh, oh, no, it's all right. It's all right, okay. Mr. Collie. I'm oh, here. Okay. All right. That's it. That's it. You just relax, okay? You just relax. Okay. Oh.